Okay. Um, just for uh, my understanding is uh, the question is whether Saudi Arabia would be interested in participating in uh, a dry uh, sort of uh, canal between the Atlantic and the Pacific to uh, reinforce what is uh, for flowing through the Panama Canal given the global increase in trade uh, between the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I'm not familiar with the project and the feasibility of it, but I can tell you that strategically, uh, the Kingdom uh, sees the need globally to uh, have resilience and diversification of uh, bottlenecks that exist today in global trade. Uh, and we want to be uh, an active participant in creating uh, this diversity and resilience of uh, global trade. Uh, and uh, we ourselves are creating, Your Excellencies, uh, a similar project in that we have a project called the Land Bridge that will connect by rail the Arabian Gulf with the Red Sea uh, and shorten the shipping uh, between, between the Arabian Gulf and the Red Sea, uh, reduce the cost uh, and provide uh, multiple uh, pathways for shipping uh, from Asia to Europe and Africa, for example, through Saudi Arabia. And we're investing tens of billions of dollars in these projects. Ports on the East Coast and the West Coast of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, and these high capacity cargo rail systems that will link the two in addition to uh, uh, to the roads. And we're investing, of course, in our shipping line, Al Bahri, uh, as well as our port company called Red Sea Gate. We would love to take that experience that we are doing across the Arabian Peninsula, across Saudi Arabia, and participate in the feasibility uh, studies and discussions uh, in Costa Rica. And then Saudi capital, if there is uh, um, a strategic link to what we are doing in the kingdom in terms of our global supply chain resilience initiatives, we would look at it. We have with us in this delegation the authority for special economic zones that is looking not only domestically in kingdom for establishing special economic zones for uh, trade and manufacturing and technology and innovation within these special zones, but we are looking globally to twin our zones with international special economic zones and we think in Central America we could have uh, twinning of our special economic zones with zones in this area. So our discussions are uh, along uh, trade, investment, taxation, uh, cooperation and integration with Costa Rica and the region succeed, which we are confident they will, then having a special economic zone that will bring Saudi exports, chemicals, fertilizers, energy products, the advanced uh, materials and also help uh, integrate what is being produced in the region, including food and products such as coffee and sugar and others uh, here in Costa Rica, and then having the direct shipping line uh, to, uh, to the region and using Saudi Arabia as a distribution hub for the MENA region for Africa. So this project is uh, potentially of interest. I think it's quite uh, early to, uh, to, to commit, but uh, we would love to work with the stakeholders within Costa Rica to, uh, to, to uh, monitor and to participate at the right time.